Ciao, y'all. Natalie Kenya here, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to discuss all the ways that you can stay safe in Rome. That being said, a lot of these can be applied on any city in Italy or really on any trip that you go internationally or domestically. But I wanted to sit here and outline a few that are specifically related to Rome and how you can make sure that you stay extra safe and comfortable while you're visiting the city. Just for a few opening comments, in general, Italy is safe and Rome is safe, but it is still a city. So there's always a possibility something can happen or will happen. And I don't remember who told me this, but they basically said if you live in Italy long enough, something may happen to you. Hmm. For example, I have also learned that myself when someone, maybe a roommate, broke into the apartment and stole my rent money during my first two months in Italy. But we're not talking about that today. That was a story time a long, long time ago. I'm pretty sure it's still on my channel somewhere, but that's not for today. Today, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can stay safe. So let's get started. My first tip of advice is to not get lost in some kind of fantasy world. I know that Rome is absolutely beautiful, but sometimes that beauty can really blind you into thinking the world is full of unicorns and rainbows and then nothing bad can happen, especially with all the colorful buildings and the wine flowing. But first, I want to open up with a few comments about the main issues that are happening in Rome. Uh, there really are just problems here with petty theft and some vandalism. So think pickpocketing, uh, passport theft. But to be honest, violent crimes aren't really something I will be worried about in Rome because trust me it is well below the u.s national average and just to touch on a few topics related to public transportation uh walking around the city accommodation dining out uh, some banking tips and some areas i don't really recommend you stay the first section we're going to talk about here is actually dining out so food and drink and some of this advice may seem to be aimed slightly at students but it also is applicable for adults the drinking age in italy actually varies from the u.s in comparison so italians can drink beer and wine at 16 and 18 for hard liquor just in general know when to stop drinking just know your limits and never ever leave your drink unattended see this is something my mom told me when i was headed off to university if you leave the drink even with your friends don't drink it when you come back just get a new one um and for every drink i recommend drinking also a glass of water so you never you know get over your limit i also would never ever leave my bag on the floor or on the back of the chair uh, my sister actually got her whole purse stolen in Rome when it was on the back of the chair. Um, so I always have my bag in my line of sight or really just on my lap, like right in my lap whenever I'm eating. Uh, that sounds bad, but I just usually cover it up or put it in a chair right next to me um, if that's available. But sometimes there's a table and there's only a few seats, so that's not always an option. So next, let's talk about walking around the city. Obviously, it is always better to walk in groups than alone. So if you can, find a reliable friend so that you can have each other's back. Just have common sense, you guys, and don't look too much like a tourist. But probably the most important element of this whole discussion is walk with some confidence. Like you have somewhere to be, like you know the streets, and also it helps to blend in with your style of clothing. You know, skip the fanny packs and the big backpacks. Um, if you can, of course, I know sometimes a lot of people come here with their camera equipment, so that's a different discussion, but if you can just skip it and just take your phone with you and make sure you have that on hand. And also, unfortunately, it's kind of sad. I have to say this, but as a woman, just try to avoid super short skirts or revealing clothing, um, because you may get attention, but it may not be the best attention that you would like. <laughs> I'll just say it like that. It'll be a little bit of unwanted attention. So just, you know, dressed cute, but a bit modestly. Also, I wouldn't necessarily carry my camera around my neck um, or wear clothes with like 50 American flags on it because obviously that's identifying you as a tourist very easily. Also at night, um, don't have a stroll through the parks or really be close to or around the main train station, uh, Termini or Piazza Vittorio. So that's an Esquilina. I would only stay in areas with some kind of pedestrian traffic that are only well lit. So always, always, always obey pedestrian crossing rules. Sometimes drivers here can be really aggressive and they don't wanna wait for you to walk across the street. So although tempting to cross, when the light is red, you may want to think twice. 
Uh, you also may think there are no cars or motorcycles coming your way. So use a bit of caution. Um, I mean, I was walking to my university class and this woman was really distracted and I was trying to cross the crosswalk thinking, oh yeah, she's gonna see me in time because the car was down the street. Well, she was texting and driving and she almost hit me on the crosswalk. It was well painted, so it wasn't like it was a surprise. In that case, there wasn't any light indication. There was no, you know, certain uh, stoplight to say go or stop, but only walk when the traffic light changes to green, if you can, when you're crossing the street at the major intersection. So just follow the rules so that if something does happen, you are not in the wrong. And also don't be distracted on the phone as well because you may need to be on the defense when you cross the street. In addition, in the summertime, the season that we're in now, it can get pretty hot. So always bring your water, always wear sunscreen. Um, I would recommend a hat sometimes. I don't pr particularly like hats just because my hair is kind of weird. I mean, usually I wear it curly and a hat on curly hair just doesn't work. But if you can, uh, you could. And just be careful because there are some cases of bags uh, that have been snatched by motor scooters as well. So just be on the lookout, make sure your belongings are close. So let's move on a bit and talk about pickpocketing. This is obviously not a new concept but just stay aware. Being distracted is never in your favor. Do not put your wallet in a back pocket. Do not walk around with a lot of cash. Um, if you can, uh, separate your passport and your cash and credit cards just in case um, before you even land at the airport in Rome. Uh, some people may come up to you asking for directions and then take your stuff and you won't even be like you won't even be aware, so don't be distracted. So let's move on to public transport. This can also be filled with pickpockets, especially during the summer months with tourists. So you wanna avoid the buses that transport you to and from Termini, the Vatican, and all the major tourist sites, um, and obviously those bus links if you can. There is one bus route, I think it's still called 6465. I'll put it here, I can't remember what it is. It links you from Termini to St. Peter's Basilica, and it is basically a problematic route that is known for the skilled theft on board. The buses and some metro cars can be very crowded with tourists. Therefore, you need to always be on the defense and use a bit of vigilance as well. I personally feel like you can get around all the major Rome attractions on foot. Yes, it is more difficult in the beaming heat of the sun <laughs> during August, for example. Yes, it takes some time, but it is not impossible. And also it gives you a better way to enjoy the city. Like you'll be able to look around, have a bit of more charming insight into the daily Italian life instead of taking the bus. So if you can, and you know, you can actually walk around comfortably in the city, I would suggest that you actually go by foot to the major sites. Now let's move on to accommodation and staying in the city. Do not choose an Airbnb on street level because you do risk a break-in. I would really suggest staying on the second floor plus, uh, really third, depending on the building, if you're staying in an apartment building. And obviously get the contact information for your host. Um, know how to get back to your accommodation, even without your phone. So notice a certain landmark or bar and learn the streets that will get you back to your apartment. I always find this works better. I mean, it's so easy to be distracted when you're looking at your phone like that. So just kind of notice like, oh, I noticed that tree. Maybe there's a sign on the tree or something and then you'll be able to get back home and just know the direction that way. I personally think it helps to look at Google Maps, like the satellite view to get around and then kind of pinpoint a few locations around where you're staying so that you're never caught off guard. Even when you're walking uh, back, maybe late in the evening after dinner, it doesn't seem like a new area. I also think it's very, very important to electronically store your important documents like your credit cards, your driver's license, uh, your passport, and just keep the copy with you, not necessarily the physical card. Obviously you can't do that with like a debit card, but what I'm saying is like, if you have three credit cards, just take one and leave the rest at home or in the safe in the hotel. You really rarely need your proper passport with you and you don't need to carry all of your cards. So like I said, leave some at home. It's even better in my opinion, if you're able to pay with contactless, that is actually a capability here, usually with Visa MasterCard, but Amex does not really work. So that's a bit of caution. If you do have Amex, it's probably better to take a Visa MasterCard out. Um, it's not really accepted a lot of the places here in Rome. So let's talk driving. Obviously, you never want to leave any valuables or suitcases visible in your car. And if you drive any vehicle, just be extra cautious and follow all the rules. You will probably see other people not following them. 
but please don't take their lead. <laughs> Some people are experts at driving here in Rome, but as a tourist, I don't think you're gonna pick up that fast. To be honest, I tell tourists to not even rent a car. So let's talk bicycling. <laughs> also, I don't really suggest using a bike in Rome uh, on the main streets unless you are in a park or are an absolute expert <laughs> stay to the far right and don't really go fast so you can break it's also probably not going to be so comfortable because there aren't many cobblestone streets now the mayor has made an effort to replace a lot of the major streets with asphalt this year uh during the lockdown so you may find it a bit more comfortable but in general i don't really suggest getting around my bike in the city of rome so let's talk banking uh, this is super important i would only use atms or bancomats inside or attached to a proper bank and not these tourist trap machines you'll see connected to a souvenir shop for example you obviously cover your pen that's no secret and again don't take out so much cash like i don't really think you ever need more than maybe a hundred euros in your pockets otherwise you can just pay with a card <laughs> i mean generally that's how it works so if you would ask me if I could suggest uh, some of the areas to avoid, I don't really believe there are any real no-gos in the city center. There are some areas that generally do have a higher crime activity in Rome, and those are near the Termini train station, so the main Rome station, the neighborhoods of Tor Bella Monica, Romanina, San Basilio, e Corviale. I could share more and more on this topic, but we really would be here all day in terms of how to stay safe in Rome. If this video helped you, please leave me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And I really appreciate you guys being here with me. I've received so much feedback on my last few videos. So thank you guys so much. And I hope some of these tips help you stay safe in Rome when you come, if you come this year or next. I know we've all been in the house for so long, but I know it's time to get out there. When you get out there, I want you to stay safe. So make sure you hit that notification bell, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, y'all.